Kia ora, as easy as is, and welcome to Living Life as Easy As with Happiness. Wow, I hope you guys have been having a phenomenal time out there, especially with Easter just passing, but yay. Anyway, today what I'd like to um, share with you is um, how I increase my happiness um, from when I was in the doom and gloom. If you remember, um, it all hit rock bottom for me when I collapsed on my bedroom floor really kind of wishing the floorboards would just open up and swallow me um, and then making the decision you know you know what life's got to be easier than this pick myself up off the floor and went about trying to find an easy happy way of enjoying my life and for me I had no mojo I had no confidence, it was really, really low, completely knocked out of me, and um, I knew I had to be doing, because I was just sitting there um, in a cesspool of um, guilt, regret, and just so many negative things, um, and I knew that if I had to stop that behavior, I needed to be doing. I needed to get up off my couch, off my self-pity and start doing and um, I thought if I'm going to do I've got to do stuff that brings me joy and it can start to increase my happiness and so I thought right what brings me joy just something little to start with and then you can just keep working at it and it just keeps on snowballing but what brings you joy you've got to do that You've got to do more of it as well. You've got to do things that bring you joy, people. Um, instead of just getting stuck in the cesspool of work and housework and running around after your children and um, not taking care of yourself. So you've got to do things. You've got to get up. I do know if you want to make a change, you've got to, one, make that decision to change, and two, you've got to do. You've got to get up and you've got to start doing. And so that's what I thought, what makes me happy, and it's been creative. And so I, um, once I decided that, I became very aware of my surroundings and was on the lookout for something that I could do to be creative with. And then when I was in a um, building yard one day, I came across this amazing derelict window frame. It had broken glass in it, and it was ready for the scrap heap. And um, I get a lot of joy out of um, bringing old things back to life again and giving them a new purpose in life. But like my own life really, you know, felt like I was ready for the scrap heap and I brought my own life back to uh, phenomenal amazingness. And I love doing that in the creative world as well. Brings me so much joy. And when I was lacking in a lot of joy and a lot of happiness, this is where I started to get my mojo back. So I took this home, on the way home I stopped in at the rubbish dump with their um, recyclables. I brought some remnant paints, cost me $2 a tin. So at this stage I've spent $4 on this whole project. And um, the, all the photo frames were just lying around the house and so they needed a new lease of life. And voila! So I sat on my deck on the porch in front of my uh, house of doom. Um, in the evening after the kids had gone to bed and I'd have my little soft music playing and oh, just the sandpapering and the painting and laying it all out and being creative. It was so good for me. It just helped build my confidence. I felt a bit more worthwhile because I was doing something and um, it was just the best, best thing to get me on my road to um, having a happy as easy as life. So you've got to start doing things. I'm here to promote and to push and to make people do things that make you happy, that bring you joy, whatever it might be. You just got to start the doing. Um, and so, you know, is it gardening? Is it motocross? Is it swimming? Is it sport? Is it baking what brings you joy is it painting is it craft whatever is it spending time with the grandchildren you've got to start doing things that bring you joy and little by little it snowballs and just gets way way better so this is the very first project I started to get myself out of the doom and gloom and so I just love it um, it still brings me a lot of joy when I look at it 
um, especially with the photos that are on it. I change them around every now and again, mix them up, replace them out. Um, it's a great conversation piece as well. People are like, oh my God, where did you get that from? And when I tell them I made it, they're like, oh my God. So yeah, it just brings me a lot of joy to be creative. So I'm here to promote that. What brings you joy? Go and do it. Find something that brings you joy. There's got to be something out there. I don't want to hear anybody saying, oh, nothing. There's nothing. I've got nothing. Not true. You have. There's something out there that brings you joy. And go do it. Um, so yay, get to. Look at my next project. I cannot wait to get onto this wee baby. Um, so this gorgeous frame here. Oh my God, it's so stunning. And it's so huge. Look at it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So, so this pushes my buttons. It brings me a lot of joy, as you can tell. I absolutely love it. So this frame here was on the front of a really old derelict um, fridge that used to be in a restaurant, a big commercial fridge. And I saw the frame and I'm like, oh my God, can I please take that frame? And they said, absolutely. Um, it was a silver. It's, oh, it's really gorgeous. And I've painted it gold because I'm a glitzy gold girl and I can't wait to get cracking on my next project here. So find something, people, that brings you a whole heap of joy and go make it happen. Just do it and you'll watch your joy and your happiness multiply um, from doing stuff that you really enjoy doing. So anyway, I would love a thumbs up or um, a share. Uh, I'd love a comment. I'd love you guys to comment on what, on what brings you joy or what you might like to start that's going to bring you joy. And just sharing your ideas. It could sow a seed for other people. They'll be like, oh my God, I love that idea. I might go and do that. I mean, if anybody wants to do this idea, it costs next to nothing, go for it. I think it's um, absolutely fabulous to share the joy and to share the happiness. So anyway, until next time, from Womble and I, much, much aroha to each and every one of you. Ciao. See you next time. Bye. Go find your joy. Go do your joy. Happiness.